everyone it's Ross today's video we're gonna be bear rooting a fig tree and the reason I'm doing this because I'm digging it up for my grandparents they live in uh, South Florida heavily sanded soils lots of nematodes and this is a variety here called LSU purple that is nematode resistant and should do exceptionally well in Florida holds up to the rain well so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna give them this fig tree and we're gonna bear root it for them so they they can take it on the plane actually we could also uh, package it up and then ship it to them, but I think it's a bit easier just to give it to them so they can take it on the plane. So, take you guys on this process of me bear rooting this. And as you can see, we have tons of rocks just piled up here to help protect this tree. So this tree, you can see it here. The reason I'm pulling at it like that is because I know it was planted as a root ball and it hasn't really well rooted itself in the ground. If it had root, rooted itself in the ground, I wouldn't have pulled on it like that. I would have dug around completely and pulled it up that way. But uh, we're just trying to get now at this point all the soil off of the roots here. As you can see here, it actually looks like some of these roots are still really growing, still active. That's pretty incredible to see. But now our goal at this point is to get off as much soil as we can, kind of bang this down a little bit, shake it out, and we'll do just that in just a second here. Let me bring this guy over to where we're gonna take it next. We're gonna put it in a, a bread bag, is what we're gonna store it in. We're gonna keep the, the roots moist, and I'm gonna cover the roots with wet rice hulls. You can do this with any other material. Say you have straw, we could even take some straw, some leaves. Um, and that's it, we're just gonna get all the soil off of here, bag it up, and then we're done. So let me put you guys down and we'll do that right now. Now, I could, if I really wanted to, I could break this up down in the middle here and create two plants. I'm not going to do that.
a lot of this soil is not coming off here. And I wonder if I should just leave on a lot of the soil here. And that way we don't have to necessarily add in the rice holes. We can kind of just keep it how it is. But at this point in the season, a lot of these roots are quite dormant. Um, the sap's flowing in the roots at this point in a fig tree. But if we lose some roots, it's not the end of the world. The tree is dormant. This is really the best time to be doing this. But I have bare rooted some things in the spring and in the summer and in the fall. And uh, if you lose some roots in this process, like we certainly have, it's not the end of the world. All right, we're getting somewhere here now. Something I want to show you guys, we buried this fig tree all the way up to here and I kind of broke off a lot of these roots, but they have formed new roots along the trunk. You can see right here, even though I broke off a lot of these. So if you bury a fig tree as deep as you want, it will form roots all along the stem. All right, so this is pretty well bare rooted here. The next thing we do is we get a bag. It's up to you on the size of the bag. I'm not even sure if this is gonna fit. We may have to uh, do some clipping here, take off some of these roots and really bare root this so that we can put this in this bag. Um, and I think that's the, uh, the only option we have. Unless I can somehow get away, get this in here all the way. But it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. This is for loaves of bread, not, not whole big trees. But they're leaving tomorrow, tomorrow morning. So you wanna do this at late, as late as you humanly possibly can. So if you're gonna to get to the post office as an example, you wanna wait as long as you can before doing so. We've also got ourselves a rubber band here. We're gonna cover this with a rubber band. Um, we're gonna cover this in here with some rice holes, as you can see. Bang this around. So that's pretty much it, guys. We need to get these rice holes down in here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna water this in really well. Make sure it's moist, it's not sopping wet. Um, you know, the bag's not leaking. And then we're gonna tie this off at the top here with a rubber band and make sure that this is completely safe and this isn't going anywhere. And that way this will preserve all the moisture in here and uh, that'll be it. What we can do is actually even cut this back if they want. It's too big for them perhaps. And uh, that way they can store this in their suitcase if they really want. So that's the video guys. That's how we're gonna bear root a fig tree. Um, it kind of stinks that we're gonna have one tree missing over here. We're not gonna have LSU purple in the ground and we're not gonna trial it. But like I said, I could have cut that in half if I wanted and kept the other half for myself. But uh, I have bigger plans I think. 
We have RDB here, Colonel Littman's here, and all along the house here is gonna be really primo, interesting varieties, I think, that are a bit more interesting than LSU Purple. And the same thing with this raised bed over here. Uh, depending on how well this tree gets through the winter time, it seems to be doing pretty well right now. Now that we're almost in uh, January, and we've already marked out exactly where we're gonna plant these trees very close together I may spread them out just a little bit if I can get rid of this raised bed and knock down the soil a little bit and spread things out I may just do that but uh, yeah these are only gonna be four feet apart this way and three feet apart uh, this way so pretty interesting right I'll give you to give you a different look here but yeah Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I'll catch you all for the next one. And uh, take care.